Behold, God is great, and we know him not. The number of his years is unsearchable, for he draweth up the drops of water, which distill in rain from his vapour, which the skies pour down, and drop upon man abundantly. Yea, can any understand the spreadings of the clouds, the thunderings of his pavilion? Behold, he spreadeth his light around him, and he covereth the bottom of the sea. For by these he judgeth the peoples, he giveth food in abundance, he covereth his hands with the lightning, and giveth it a charge that it strike the mark. The noise thereof telleth concerning him, the cattle also concerning the storm that cometh up. Eob chapter 37, Elihu continues, Yea, at this my heart trembleth, and is moved out of its place. Hear, O hear the noise of his voice, and the sound that goeth out of his mouth. He sendeth it forth under the whole skies, and his lightning to the ends of the earth. After it a voice roareth, he thundereth with the voice of his majesty, and he restraineth not the lightnings when his voice is heard. God thundereth marvellously with his voice. Great things doeth he which we cannot comprehend. For he saith to the snow, Fall thou on the earth, likewise to the shower of rain, and to the showers of his mighty rain. He sealeth up the hand of every man, that all men whom he hath made may know it. Then the beasts go into coverts, and remain in their dens. Out of the chamber of the south cometh the storm, and cold out of the north. By the breath of God ice is given, and the breadth of the waters is congealed. Yea, he ladeth the thick cloud with moisture, he spreadeth abroad the cloud of his lightning, and it is turned round about by his guidance, that they may do whatsoever he commandeth them upon the face of the habitable world, whether it be for correction, or for his land, or for loyal ardor, that he cause it to come. Hearken to this, O Eob, stand still, and consider the wondrous works of God, Dost thou know how God layeth his charge upon them, and causeth the lightning of his cloud to shine? Dost thou know the balancings of the clouds, the wondrous works of him who is perfect in knowledge? How thy garments are warm, when the earth is still by reason of the south wind? Canst thou with him spread out the sky, which is strong as a cast metal mirror? Teach us what we shall say to him, for we cannot set our speech in order by reason of darkness. Shall it be told him that I would speak, or should a man wish that he were swallowed up? And now men see not the light which is bright in the skies, but the wind passeth, and cleareth them. Out of the north cometh golden splendor. God hath upon him terrifying majesty. Concerning the Almighty, we cannot find him out. He is excellent in power, and in justice, and plenteous righteousness. He will not afflict. Men do therefore fear him. He regardeth not any that are wise of heart. Then Yahweh answered Eob out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and declare thou to me. Where wast thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. 
Who determined the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Or who stretched the line upon it? Whereupon were the foundations thereof fastened? Or who laid the cornerstone thereof, when the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God roared a rumbling roar?